Hey guys, Jane here, Northview Model Shop. I want to do a quick video on how I use the Future Floor Polish for a, uh, a clear coat. Um, here's your pledge, Future, Future on the bottle, pledge, finish, it's just a vinyl floor wax. Uh, find it at any uh, grocery store. Um, I think I pay like six or seven bucks for the stuff. It works pretty good. Mm -hmm. Do this quick, cause it may be a boring video because you gotta watch me do it, but pop her open and what I like to do is just having a disposable cup you don't need a lot just a little squirt there I'm just using an old brush it's a soft bristled kind of deal the next trick that I've always found is before you even start make sure you got some way to hold on to the thing right let's get, get a bit of a mat down here one tip I've learned is to dip it in and then on the side of the cup, just kind of wring out the excess, because if not, you get it all over the friggin' place, and it's kind of hard to work. But this is all you're doing, right? You're just taking a little bit at a time, and just coating it on there. It's uh, This is water-based, so it's self-leveling, which is great. There's no real worry about getting it on uneven. Uh, the other nice thing is, too, is, you know, it's, I first was worried about how I'm, where I was going to see where I left off or started, but as it's going on you just kind of get that little bit of a wet sheen to it so you know where you've started where you've stopped last and you just kind of keep working here I like just to get a light coat on there I think is all you really need for this stuff um, I'm trying just to bury my decals here so if you had some thick heavy crazy decals you'd probably maybe have to lay a couple coats of this stuff down but with these Dr. Cranky decals are just so thin and just laid down so beautifully that I don't think there's really a need to lay any more than just the one coat. Uh, da -da -da -da. Now this is probably not a very interesting video on watching a guy paint a friggin model with uh, an old paintbrush and some floor wax but oh well some people out there like to see this stuff so we'll keep doing it. I know old Stuart there, he had said that he'd heard lots of uh, references on the stuff, but never, no one's ever mentioned that he could find anyone how to use it. So I figured I'd do this video for him. And, uh, you know, I can't take credit for this, obviously. This was a, a, one of uh, subscribers pointing me in direction. I can't remember the video. I wish I would have saved it my favorite so I could at least credit the guy, but he did it with a, just a model car. Did a great little video on how to use this stuff, right? And that's what I use. Now I was scared that future was going to be this complicated, long procedure, right? And all he did, same thing I'm doing right here, just right in front of the video with a big brush. He painted up a, or I painted up, but did up a model car right quick. Paused the video, half hour elapsed time. Came back with an old bounce sheet that he had from the dryer, and buffed his car. And just like that, it was nice, bright, and shiny which is better than any any spray can I could have ever done and I like the idea of this stuff because for for like you know what ten dollars taxes included you get that much clear opposed to ten dollars for one little rattle can that you know if you're going to do a super shiny model on the cheap you're going to end up burning one of those cans alone in, in your model so you know you're looking at buying those things constantly and I didn't like the idea of having to always go to the store to buy clear coating so that's why this future I think works great I haven't I just use it on planes so far I haven't had a chance to use it on a, on a car yet because the last couple cars I've done have been flat blacked or whatever so I've not really been too keen on getting that shine to it but this does definitely do the trick it's even leaking a little bit here I'm coming off the front decal here Anyway, keep keep working this thing here. A uh, big problem with this setup is that I don't have a great hold on the the model, so you you see it spinning like crazy on me. But oh well, we got the important front of the top down already, so this isn't that important the bottom. But we will we will do our best to make it look good, right? So, doomsday is upon us.
I understand, tomorrow, today being the 20th, so tomorrow being the 21st, last day on Earth, so I don't know if I'm going to go max my credit card, don't tell my boss to take a flying leap, but you never know, we'll see what the apocalypse brings, and we'll, we'll take it from there. Just, what are you guys doing for the, the appending doomsday? Anything special? was the day before doomsday and all through town everyone had gone crazy even the town nun a little song I wrote this morning while going to work not very good and it weren't original either it's the wife thought it was funny but I think she just laughs to humor me I would think now the bottom here like I said it's giving me trouble I'm kind of just winging it here giggity just for the fact that the thing's spinning like crazy on me but like we said earlier, you know, it's the bottom of the plane, so you're not going to see it in the display case, so it's getting great coverage is not going to be the end of the world. Just like I said, I'm really just trying to seal my decals in so they don't go anywhere on me or get yellowed or something crazy. But just like that, I'm just checking for anything in particular. See, it's already starting to dry up, right, which is beautiful. Stuff flattened out a little more, see where we got anything crazy. Just trying to just level a little bit. I think by holding it up and doing the bottom, probably should have done the bottom first, then the top. It's just long learning. It's kind of dry a little bit with some runs into it. Well, it's not a run, I guess. Just something I could see that I didn't like. Uh, side here. Uh, there we go. It's not very professional, but anyway. All right, that's all it is. Now I was always told you want about a half hour dry time on that. So that's what we'll give her. Uh, the last little bit here is propeller. Get that all sealed. The back as well, obviously. But yeah guys, that's all you're doing, just sort of just getting a good liberal coverage of everything on the plane and or your model in general. Put that down there. I take my brush just in my soap water mixture. And that's it. I'll give that, you know, I've, I was always told about a half hour. I'll probably give it an hour. This, I I wouldn't dump this back in. I'd probably dispose of that. And when it's all dry, quick buff with an old bounce sheet. And you got a lemonly fresh war machine that's shiny. Anyway, guys, I hope this video seems fun. I, I was probably boring watching me paint, but oh well. That's kind of a quick tip. So, adios.